Well, uh, Frialza is a Mexican company, Mexican company that was established in, back in 1983. So we've been in the market for 30 years, been a leader ever since. We established as a PRW, Public Refrigerated Warehousing company. And well, that's the, we've, we've been the market leader ever since. That's the type of services we provide. We do a wide variety of uh, services in warehousing and also in distribution. So we service uh, all multinational customers, such as Walmart, Unilever, Tyson Foods, General Mills, as well as to local customers, regional customers that are producers, importers, distributors in Mexico. So wh what I do in the company, I'm in charge of uh, strategic planning and also uh, of the uh, information office. Before we implemented Axelos, we had a very time-consuming and personal, personal intense operation. Uh, we were hardly based in paper, so managing the operation was tough. We uh, were exposed to misled data processing. Uh, all the billing was done also manually. Uh, and we had some variety of different processes that we were not really happy about. So we were looking for a solution that would allow us to reduce paper significantly, uh, uh, automate processes, and allow us to do the billing in an um, easier and more controlled fashion. So that's kind of the situation that we were at because we had been growing for several years and the, the, the system that we had was not long enough, uh, the, a good solution. So we were looking for more efficiency. We were looking for more accuracy. And in overall, we're looking, uh, we were intending to be like a more reliable source of services to our customers. We selected the Axelos One 3PL Enterprise Warehouse. Um, well, all the functionality of the system is, is great, but for us, the main factors to do the decisions after doing a deep research uh, were like, we got aware of the company, it, was, it had a, a recognized solution in the, within the industry. And we also found that they were really willing to give good service. And we found that match between companies, between our company and Axelos, when we met the executives and we realized that they wanted to grow together with us. We, we wanted to do like a hand-to-hand -hand business and, uh, and it's been that experience, so that was kind of the most important thing, that kind of relationship with, uh, with Axelos, and so far it's been really, um, we have achieved that, that goals. And afterwards, we were looking at the, at the solution, and we found, well, several strong points, like the ability to uh, deploy the, the solution in our operations without the need of doing much development or without needing to do complex configurations. So it really fit our operations. The standard processes as well as the customized processes. So we found the application was very powerful, very flexible, so which was a very, very strong point. And also, the, well, in Mexico, the kind of, I guess everywhere, but in Mexico, the, what we face about building is very different types of needs and requests from customers. And uh, we, we saw that the, the Axelo solution was able to manage all those different methods and well it, those were also key key differ differentiators as well as the ability to reduce paper and to be more efficient through RF and to handle the operations better. We've been working with, with the solution for five years. We have deployed a solution to 22 distribution centers that we have and it's working well uh, with the big ones, me small and medium ones. So it's been a really flexible, powerful solution uh, that has allowed us also to share more information within the company and with the customers. That's something we were also looking for to extend that information, that visibility through the supply chain. Yeah, first and foremost, we uh, were um, standardizing all processes and we found that the, the 3PL solution really helped us to enforce that standardization, does the control. Uh, that increased uh, inventory uh, accuracy, increased uh, on-time deliveries. Uh, service level overall was increased uh, because we were able to have a better control of the operations. 
And we also found that the um, building process that I mentioned that was very time consuming, very difficult, really got much easier to do. And we were able to interface that results with our ERP. So other areas within the company were also impacted uh, in, a, in a, a beneficial way. So it was beneficial for them. For customer service, for example, the, the guys in charge of customer service were able to access to the information about uh, in the CRM that the, the application has in, integrated. So the services were, the, the advantages were f uh, primarily focused on the operations, but it, they really extended to other areas so, such as uh, finance, customer service. We have customer service for us is the, the service that we give in the facilities, but we also have an, a, a, a division, a person that is in charge of getting in contact with the customers. So he was very happy to get more information and to be able to look at the, at the services we were providing to our customers. So those were like additional benefits. And also we found that we didn't need to enforce much uh, the greeting proce procedures because the system became like the backbone of the, of the processes of the operations. So, uh, the, the need for auditing, for example, was reduced. So yeah, there were very, uh, several benefits that were like additionals to the ones that we wanted uh, when we were seeking for efficiency and accuracy, which of course were also met. So it's been a very positive experience. Well, yeah, to, to companies looking for these kind of solutions, I will, would strongly advise them to uh, look for s companies that do a similar business to them, meet with them, have a conversation with them in order to really see how the application is, uh, is giving them their benefits. In our case, we did that and it, we really, it gave us a, 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 an open perspective of the real, the actual benefits. Um, so I think that's key. And also, well, to involve their users and the, the leaders that are gonna be in charge of using the, the application, the solution in order to make sure that the, all the criteria that uh, are met in terms of their needs. So that, that worked really well for us. And, but also I think it's very important to, to look for that match within the companies. I mean, that willingness to do business, to provide service, to uh, give solutions, uh, newer alternatives, uh, which is what we found. We did the research before and we found that it really it came to fruition. That's the, the, the very good news with Excellus. And um, well, that reference gave us confidence when choosing and when doing our quantitative selection. So that really, uh, I think it's key for, for companies that are looking for these type of solutions. That was a challenge indeed, but it wasn't such a big one because the adoption of the processes from the system to our uh, practices was uh, very natural. So um, that was uh, certainly uh, a point uh, in our favor. And what we also did uh, is to do the training with a, like uh, shoulder to shoulder with the, our users. So we started like doing some materials and preparing some type of classes about how to use the system and everything. But we, after one or two implementations, because we did 20 implementations, <laughs> But after a, a couple, we found that it was easier to go get uh, go working with the people side by side. So they got the confidence. We had a very few people that wouldn't really know how to turn a computer on. So we gave them some little basic training. And afterwards, uh, well, working with, with them and uh, trying to give them confidence in themselves. And as people uh, got aware of the door, uh, uh, workmates were doing well, the trust kind of extended by itself. So, but yeah, being with them and in a kind of an informal fashion was really helpful for our, our, in our case. Well, our, our company has been at 3PL is always facing with, with new requests and new things that customers want us to do. So one of the challenges is being able to uh, cope with those requests and to be able to provide them a, a solution that is supported by, the, by the IT. So uh, that's like a, a, a very important factor. And also, well, companies as, as well as ourselves are looking for more and more detailed information, but at the same time, easy to manage, uh, easy to handle, and information that is workable for taking decisions. So I would say, given that, 
uh, improve service through more information and having the information for our own use in order to be more efficient. To productivity now is key, you know, these days when costs and are raising everywhere. So being able to manage uh, productivity, revenue, and cost is going to be key. But in an easy in an easy fashion, and that that's where I think the technology comes into place nowadays uh, because it has to be like the enable enabler to for the managers, for the clerks, for the people that is doing day-to-day -day operations. The challenge uh, uh, for us nowadays is to involve them down in the, now in the use of information so they can make decisions, so they can uh, provide better service, so they can look forward to see how to proactively uh, provide a, an improved service or have a, a more controlled operation.